Hey guys, Marty Boots here. Uh, today I just want to do a follow up on my video yesterday um, on my thesis that uh, when price first gets above the moving averages after a sustained bear market or substantial drop uh, in the markets, that it is proof that the bear market is ending and we are very close to moving into a new bull market. And yesterday in Apple, over a 40 year period, um, this pretty much did show that, at least in, in that, I was going to say coin, in that uh, stock itself. So today I just want to dive a bit deeper into that, into multiple charts, sectors, Forex, uh, stocks, commodities, different things, Bitcoin, um, and show that this is proof that the bear market is ending and we are close to entering a new bull market. Now, nothing is 100%, but I, I will go into that uh, deeper in this video. So I've got about 10 or 15 charts here I wanna compare. So it might be a little bit longer video today, but I'll try and get through them as quickly as possible. So you can see here, after the substantial bear market, 84% drop or whatever, um, this is the first time Crucial, this is this is very crucial. The first time price gets above all moving averages. Now we want to look a bit deeper into that. So I'm going to start here and we have some Forex. We have the US dollar. We have a substantial bear market. And you can see the first time price gets above the uh, all moving averages. You can see in, it's only a 5% raise, 6% raise in the US dollar over a year period or whatever it is. Um, but don't let that kid yourself. That, that's, a, that's a big number in Forex. Um, you, you can see it's just sustained growth ever since and, and this could keep going. So that's uh, the first chart. Now this is JP Morgan. You can see here in JP Morgan, we had a 44, 42% drop and the first time price got above the moving averages, we, had a 25% bounce, so some nice sustained growth. So, the, so there was so there was a potential for profits there. Now we did roll back over, and the second time we got above moving averages, this was the kicker. This was the the best buy point, and you can see we continued higher the whole way, 208% higher. Um, that is over a six or seven year period. But that, that is stocks and that, that is good growth for stocks. Now, I should have drawn this on the chart, but I will go deeper into this as the charts go along. But if you actually take a Fibonacci from this low to the, the high of the first time we get above the moving, moving averages, this drops back down roughly into the 60, 60, uh, 61% roughly. And you'll see that this is a key location, a key buy location in history after the first time we get above moving averages. So we need to take that in mind. I should have drawn it on this chart, but I didn't. Now, I also wanna um, get into this and just touch on it here very slightly. If we buy down here, assuming this is Bitcoin, for example, if we buy down here and we have continued uh, trend higher, these points where price has a dip and breaks out above moving average, all moving averages again, these are spots to safely add to your position in a bull market after dips now you can obviously refine this and maybe get a, a 61 percent uh retrace or whatever but these are good spots to add to uh positions for going for going higher to build a position even bigger if needed to now, this is JP Morgan um, in 2009. This is the financial crisis. So this even precedes the last chart. So you can see the drop in the financial crisis. Uh, I didn't, it's probably a 50% drop, 59% drop from memory. But you can see here, uh, the first time price got above all moving averages. In the long-term scheme of things, it was a great buy point. And you know, price continued higher, 260%. There was a dip below the moving averages at one point and below your buy point, which is um, something we're going to have to deal with. And 
it's very possible and likely that we might have to deal with a similar situation on Bitcoin because the market always tries to shake you out. But if you actually take a Fibonacci from here to here, you can see it's probably into the 50% retrace of this move. So we do not want to get shaken out or shaken out by these. We need to look at these as buying opportunities because we should know if this moves higher that the, the potential of the bear market is over. So this is a retrace. Now you, you will see from f uh, further examples that this, is, this can be a likely scenario. And again, when price gets above all moving averages, these are buy points to add to your position in time as this bull market develops. I'll just keep going here because uh, I don't want the video to be too long. Now you can see here in Boeing, as uh, I think John was talking about this in the chat about Boeing, but back in a financial crisis, you can see the drop, substantial drop. And the first time price got above all moving averages was, was right here. But it actually had a dip from that. And again, this is what I want to touch on. I'm trying to emphasize this point as well. Again, look at this, it dropped right into the 61% retrace as well after the first time we got above all moving averages. So there was that dip. Now, sometimes we don't get that dip and it just continues higher, but a lot of times there is a dip and it's into the 61% retrace roughly. And, and it continued higher the whole way. And as you can see, you know, there is other buy points when, when we have a pretty substantial dip below the moving averages. Once we get back above them, you know, they, they usually are very good buy points and, and additional um, places to add to your positions in the long term scheme of things if you're trying to build and buy more Bitcoins as the years progress. Uh, this is going, oh, this, this just went into more detail on that. Um, now you can see these dips, but uh, when price gets above all moving averages, so, and this is a buy point, but also notice the retrace from this low to the high where price gets above all moving averages, there is a dip right into the 50% retrace here, you can see. So we, we can't get sh shaken out by these. We need to understand this and, and realize these dips and, and prepare to buy on these dips, even lower than the moving averages. And, and then it goes higher. And this is the exact same. You can see here, we got a dip below the moving averages, but we're already well in profit here. So if we buy on the first breakout above moving averages, we should be well in profit. So we can, we can buy, you can see the dip here. And as price breaks out above moving averages, you can see this 50% uh, retrace here also, just like here, 50% retrace. And then you can see price uh, was off to the races. And we can buy more here, maybe if our out of confidence, you can buy small here if you're not too confident. And when it gets above it, you can buy big. Um, it's a little bit cluttered, but this is the euro. Now you can see the bear market, substantial drop. Uh, the first time price gets above all moving averages is actually here. Now, but you can see where did price fall to before going higher? And it actually fell into the 61% again from the first time we got above moving averages. So this is a key point and it did, it was a good buy point, but in this occasion, and we have to be prepared for this, uh, if we added here and maybe bought some here, we would be in profit. But you can see on this occasion, we rolled over and this is actually quite bearish action. There was, there was never really any strength here. We never truly broke out above the moving averages. So this needs to be understood. This is more of a bear flag pattern, to be honest. But we, you just have to understand the price action. But when price broke down and failed on this retest, you, you need to make sure you're out of this market. I mean, for a drop, who knows, it could have dropped further than this. But it was a stop hunt and it did roll over. And this would actually be an ideal scenario in Bitcoin if we did roll over and if we got this buy position on Bitcoin, if this dropped at $3,000, took out all the stops, I mean, and came back inside, we would load up, load up the boat and sell, sell your house, sell everything and just buy Bitcoin. And because this is such a low risk trade and you can see if we, if you did buy down here, uh, you can also buy more here on the breakout of all moving averages again, 
uh, for a run higher. This is overstock. Uh, people in the group uh, talk about overstock quite a bit because of RVN. But I've got a couple of examples here over the years in RVN. Uh, you can see here it dropped 60%. And the first time it got above moving averages, there was a 45% bounce, which is good. You know, uh, it's nothing to be sniffed at. Uh, but it did finally roll over. And you can see when price broke all moving averages again, this is a warning sign and maybe a time to get out. Uh, it did roll over. And then when it bounced, price got above all moving averages again. So if you take a Fibonacci from this low to this high, you can see price fell exactly into the 61% retrace again. Very important. This is, this is a very important buy point when price gets above all moving averages. I'm just trying to stress that. Um, and you can see if you did accumulate here and as price went higher, he had that bit of a fake out as well. When price got back above price, uh, above moving averages, you can see it's another buy point and you can buy right as price gets above moving averages. And, and then it was after the races. This is overstock back in 2010. You can see we had an 80% drop in the bear market. So as price came down, we had this bottoming period. And honestly, this a um, little bit similar to Bitcoin. But I mean, the bit drop in Bitcoin was a bit steeper to start with. But, um, you know, once price got above moving averages, it was just after the races. You can see here a 360% move in the stock market is is a substantial, huge move. So you can see here there was never a pullback. And this is what we got to be worried about in Bitcoin right now, because there is the chance you, you, you look at this. There is the chance that maybe we just have a little bit of a retest of the moving averages and this just keeps going. You know, the, you, you cannot, um, you cannot, uh, you cannot discredit it. Uh, it. It is a possibility. So, and you can see here, it's, it's similar to Bitcoin here and we're, we're still riding the, the 9 EMA and touching the, the green 20 EMA. So you can see that we're still riding the green EMA. There's no reason why, as these prices moving averages push higher, this could just trend and trend and trend and trend higher. And before we know it, oh, I lost the chart now. And before we know it, it's trended and trended and trended and trended. When it does this, if it trends for so long and the moving averages have a base, there's normally a spike in price. And this is what we need. We need to be in well before this. And this is why I'm saying, Possibly buying right now is very important in Bitcoin because it might just do this grind and fake people out. Everybody thinks it's going to drop because the RSA is extended, because the MACDs have crossed to the downside, because, you know, all the indicators don't matter. The indicators are bullshit in, in uh, the easiest way of putting it um, in a trend like this. They do not matter because they're going to give so many fake signals. It's not going to matter. Price action dictates everything. And... The price action is strong. It's above all moving averages and it's trending and it's trending higher to the upside. So don't get faked out by these uh, all the all these indicators and stuff. Price action is 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 king. So it, it's very possible that this situation is going to repeat in Bitcoin, in my opinion. And it's just going to be a little sideways and little moves higher and, you know, faffing about. But then all of a sudden, after a while, this is actually accumulation. And accumulation to the upside obviously and and all it is going to explode if this happens and when you get that you know you're, you're starting to get too late again we've already missed the big explosion from 4200 so we definitely do want to be missing the next one i'll just continue here i don't uh, the video is going to be long but um the, guys it's very very important to get deep into these um examples because we are here right now and and this is a potential of changing everybody's lives you know uh if we can buy this at, at the correct time which is possibly now and uh and hold for four years what if bitcoin goes to a hundred thousand fifty thousand a hundred thousand you know who knows but if you're holding bitcoin and then maybe it's at a hundred thousand and you're buying up some of these altcoins and stuff and they're, they're going 10 to 100 x um you know, it's life changing gain, so it's it's worth a twenty minute video or whatever and dive deep into this just just to that just for that to change your life. Anyway, uh 
this is 2005 overstocked down to 80% drop. You can see here, and from this time we got above moving averages, we had a 100% spike, and then we did push lower, you know. So we have to consider that, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to watch it and trade it as we see it. You can see here on Microsoft, in the bear market and financial crisis 2009, eight and nine, the first time we got above all moving averages, critical. First time we get above all moving averages, it has not stopped since. You know, and if you get in early on the trend, and this is this is a game changer, getting in early on the trend, and then you have nothing to worry about. You just sit back, relax, drink your coffee, watch the profits grow, watch your account grow, sit back and relax, and add to your positions. When when price has a dip and breaks out above moving averages again, maybe add to your position. You can add to all these every time price breaks out above all moving averages. These are buying points. As you accumulate more money from work over the years, these are additional buy points to add more BTC. And look at it, it's still going. And we just had another buy signal here on Microsoft and to go higher, and you're, you're already up 10% profits on that alone. Um, what do we got here? Barrick Gold, so we're into some com a commodity here now. This works on all markets, guys. You can see the drop, 89% uh, drop, a bit like Bitcoin, so 89% drop. Now, we had this point, but we never really broke out above all moving averages, and this was more of a bearish consolidation under moving averages. This this was not a buy point, but I just added it just to, just to show. But you can see this, the trend went lower the first time we broke out about, above all moving averages. This went higher. Very important. And it's 154%, but you know this is just probably a pullback. And this is potentially a buying opportunity in um, in gold stocks right now. And you can see prices down at $13. So if, if gold and everything starts rolling here, coming up to a bit of a dip in the markets, you know, this, this, this could be a five gainer. It could get up to $50 again. There's no question about it, especially after this huge bottoming period. Um, you know, you cannot rule that out at this point in time. So gold stocks are probably a good buy right now. Uh, this is more Barrick Gold, uh, 2008, 2009. So this is a financial crisis. And you can see first time price got above all moving averages. You know, if you did buy here, uh, your, your first buy, you can see again how important is this level off after the first move above all moving averages. Price fell back into the 61%, 50 to 61% retrace. And this was another buy if you can buy it big and you can see what happened. Price just kept going higher. Uh, this is Amazon. So in 2016, we had that huge drop. Well, it was 31%, which is massive in Amazon. You don't see that in, in Amazon too often. But the first time got above all moving averages, you can see it, it just continued higher and higher and higher. And we've not been below the moving averages since. I mean, it was a 250% move until uh 2000 uh, what is that 2017 or is it 18 i'm not sure it's 18 now but so you can see how powerful that is guys i'm just trying to speed this up a little bit uh the s p 500 right now to this day you can see we had a 20 percent drop and everybody was calling for a, a bear market and you know it looked like it to be honest um but we pushed right back above and if you had bought above all moving averages again you're already up five or six percent in uh in in your s p futures contracts or whatever now you five or six percent is huge money in in futures you could make depending on what you put on it even if you bought like one contract you'd be up tens of thousands of dollars probably uh from here up you know it's it's big money uh the spiders um i just want to touch on this because this was a failed breakout so it did fail breakout and then we rolled over and uh actually had a stop hunt so if it, because the a madness and because the fact that we've already been over all moving averages in bitcoin now the the usually the worst case scenario is if once this happens in in looking at all these charts over the last 30 40 years and all all these charts i've checked all these big companies the thing is 
the worst case scenario when this happens is generally a rollover and a, and a stop hunt below the lows and then it goes that that is the trending thing in the worst case scenario now it doesn't happen all the time it only happens in about 30 percent of them but that it seems to be the worst case scenario so you can see here it happened here we had a big drop it's only a 14 percent drop in the market so it's not a bear market so it is a different scenario but um you know we roll over we had the stop hunt and a buy point here when you get above all moving averages and price went higher but we you can see there's a stop hunt here but it dropped into the 30 to 40 percent so uh you have to look at these dips into the 40 50 61 percent drop as buy opportunities this is the spiders again uh we got above all moving averages again you can just see it ran um and have it again you know above all moving averages and we continue to run it's it's extremely powerful guys and unbelievably important where we are in bitcoin right now this chart is extremely important this is the spiders in the financial crisis you know and and everybody was still calling for this to crash lower in the financial crisis i remember this i remember trading this and i was only a novice back then and um uh, uh, training and everything else in the markets and i was only new uh so in 2009 this rolled everybody expected this to roll over and go down but if you just look at the charts and trade the charts once you got above all moving averages you, you just have to buy this and and you can see where it went but look at all these other buy points you can buy as it gets above this moving average you can buy when it gets above these moving averages and and the thing is once price breaks above all moving averages notice how quickly price trends price starts to move pretty quick always look at this it got above here i didn't mark this one but it starts moving really quick again it gets above all moving averages price moves really quick you know this was a bit of a fake out and that's what i talked about in the last slide but you can see again once price breaks out above all moving averages it's moving pretty quick and look at this recently once price breaks out above all moving averages price moves really quick price broke out above about above all moving averages price should move pretty quick to the upside here in theory so we do not want to be left behind and I, I just need to emphasize this guys we do not want to be left behind on bitcoin um where am i here okay is there a few more here uh this is bitcoin itself 2015 14 15 bear market we had a big drop we all know of there was this fake out and but what I, I don't have on the chart here if you draw fibonacci from this low to the first time price got above all moving averages this dropped exactly into the 61 percent and i didn't mark it on the chart here but again notice this drop so we are here right now in bitcoin if we roll over we need to be watching this 50 to 61 percent and the 51 to 61 percent in bitcoin is the 4200 level and you can see again we broke above all moving averages and where the price go from 200 dollars to twenty thousand dollars so uh this is bitcoin which is untalked about really because it's a 2012 bear market but the first time price gets above all moving averages where do we go we went from six dollars to twenty thousand dollars enough said uh this is the 2013 bear market this is not talked about a lot either you can see 80 percent drop and when price finally gets above all moving averages i could have said here a little bit uh, earlier but anyway i, I did choose choose here and you can see what happened from $95 we went to $1,200 as soon as price went above all moving averages for the first time and you can see again there was no pull, there was no pullback initially but if you draw Fibonacci and I didn't do this here um, I should have a Fibonacci from this low to this high price dropped exactly into the 50 to 61 percent again and and what happened we recovered really quickly and after the races so we need to be prepared for this drop and even if we buy now be prepared for this drop and accumulate more on the drop and price will return and, and go higher 
Uh, my missus has got about fifty thousand dollars, which I think has tripled over over the years in this um, in uh, ResMed. But um, it's such a powerful stock, and if you if you actually check this for yourselves, it's gone from eight dollars to three hundred dollars or something. Um, but you can see in the bear market back in two thousand and two after the tech bubble, uh, this this had a sixty percent drop. And the first time price got above all moving averages. This went from ten dollars or whatever that is, eight dollars to three hundred dollars. So, and that was after the bear market, and there was no looking back, no turning back. It just kept going and going and going. Just on this chart alone, there's two hundred and thirty-two percent profits. This is Bank of Queensland. Um, my missus asked me to put this one in. I think um, so. You, you had a sixty-seven percent bear market. The first time you got above again, you had a chance for forty percent profits. Now this did roll over again when we get start start breaking it below all moving averages. We got to be weary. So this is this is a signals to be weary of, you know, and it rolled over. But you can see again, price got above all moving averages. And if you did buy here, and we did roll over, look where it rolled over to. It rolled exactly to the sixty one percent again. Now th this is common very common guys after we break out above all moving averages a retrace into the 50 to 61 percent buy up shit loads of it and, and and it'll return above the moving averages again and you can also buy more on confirmation of price breaking above all moving averages and then it's after the races so that's i know it's a long video guys 25 minutes jesus most of you probably won't have time to watch all of this but hopefully you do because it's extremely important and we are in life-changing uh period here in bitcoin for the next four to five years this point in time is crucial so we have a couple options here the first option is you know bitcoin does not even dip here and it just goes higher it just continues higher which happens a lot of the time but in this situation the other situation is the yellow is, uh, is kind of faff, faffs about and we fall back down and test the 4,200 level and then we move higher. Now the other one, the last one, the worst case scenario is that we roll over, break the 4,200 and as you can see from all those charts, once price has broken above all moving averages, the, usually the worst case scenario has been to go down and take out stops below the previous lows and then move higher. So, where's my fibs? You can see here, guys, from if this is the top at the moment, you can see here, very importantly, where is the 50 to 61%? Look at this, quite, quite impressive where it actually is. So if we do drop down here, it's right on the point where we need to be buying, which is a retest of this ascending triangle. So I don't need to go into all this again, but this, this ascending triangle. So this is a crucial buy point if we get down there, but we may need to be buying now. It might not come down there. So, uh, you know, it's hard to tell right now. I mean, it, it is an accumulation point in my, uh, in my eyes. Buy some here. If it goes down by another but here um you know it, it's definitely into accumulation time on bitcoin in my uh my opinion anyway guys 28 minutes i don't think it's all of time to look at this but um if you watch it it'll, it'll do you good so uh thanks for watching guys um i'm almost out of breath for talking too much here 39 so 29 minutes so if you have any questions you can hit me up on discord and please like and subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.